Hello everybody, so uh, I am going to discuss about uh, celebration recipes in this part. What I have noticed that uh, you know celebration has become so important uh, for children that uh, every other week children are invited to birthday parties. Now this is primarily for little bit older children but even toddlers are invited to a lot of these birthday parties and what we have experienced that uh, most of the time uh, the celebration parties have so much of junk food actually you know. I can understand if a child is attending a celebration party once every kind of few weeks or maybe once a month or two you know that is a different story. But here like lot of time what I see is many many children they attend uh, you know uh, on normal uh, days or normal year they attend at least 10 to 12 to sometimes 15 birthday parties you know. And this is true even in a school celebration uh, because even in school celebration what happens when a child has uh, their birthday they bring some chocolate, they bring some cookies, they bring some biscuit and they distribute to other children. And here what happens uh, unfortunately the children you know they kind of they feel that this is a positive reinforcement that if you are happy you have to eat sweet. So that is you know I am kind of a little bit against that uh, uh, fundamental that why should you treat a child uh, for some happy event with sweet, why not something which is healthy. Right. So, uh, you were trying to kind of change this mindset and uh, what I recommend is that whenever there is a celebration uh, as parents we need to encourage healthy recipes on those celebrations starting from your own home. You know even if you have a birthday party at home think of more like a you know either carrot cake or something not adding too much of this uh, all purpose flour or maida, uh, avoid sugar you know you can add so many other natural uh, sweet products which, which are available like for example date you can use or you can use a banana or any of those uh, sweet fruit as as a celebration menu not on a or not on a regular basis but just in a celebration menu. So here we have created some of these recipes uh, we have part 1 and part 2 uh, and I do acknowledge Dr. Rekha Harish uh, she is from Indian Academy of Pediatrics and she had encouraged us to create this menu for children uh, you know uh, for celebration uh, parties. Uh, another thing which I do recommend is suppose if children get any of these cookies or candies biscuits or chocolates from school uh, say if uh, somebody gave it to them because of their birthdays you ask them to bring it home you know and tell them to save it for say every Sunday or maybe you can decide one day they can save it in the refrigerator they can put it in one, uh, one box uh, encourage them to have it just once a week. What happens is when they wait for that uh, for the chocolate lot of time what happens they they forget you know once they forget they they tend to kind of get de addicted from the sweet taste and then they don't ask for it and then even though later on if they get some chocolate they will realize it's so sweet you know they will come and tell you that mom this is so sweet I don't like it you know. So try to inculcate those habits in children uh, to get them off this sugar addiction. Uh, sugar addiction is so kind of rampant in our children and it's, it's very very unfortunate. So as you can see from all our recipes you know we have not added uh, sugar or jaggery in uh, regular complementary foods but even in celebration party uh, we have not added sugar or jaggery at all in any of our uh, uh, recipes. Uh, we have added some probably dates or banana or some of those sweet uh, uh, fruits or you know dry fruits uh, but again this is a celebration menu. So on a, on a regular basis I do not uh, recommend adding too many of the sweet fruits dry fruits because uh, those are very high in fructose and fructose does cause uh, fatty liver it does have uh, a repercussion you know for metabolic health and we want to make sure that our children when they are growing up they do not get high triglyceride level they do not get pre-diabetic uh, just in Gujarat uh, CNS report says 20% children are pre-diabetic and these are children between 5 to 9 years of age. Okay. Now this 5 to 9 years of age if these children are getting uh, pre-diabetes that means it started early on it did not start a year ago, 2 years ago it started probably from birth you know. So you want to make sure that our children get breast milk okay, which will prevent uh, uh, you know 
uh, help with uh, decreasing diabetes and blood pressure later on. And then at 6 months you start food which is uh, extremely healthy, uh, nutrient dense, uh, no sugar, no jaggery. And even uh, between 1 to 2 years of age you want to encourage children to have healthy food. And even if they go to celebration party, th you want to create that healthy uh, you know healthy mindset in a child that they would only select healthy food out of that you know. So, that would start from actually parents that would start from family. So, if child sees that mother and father are only selecting healthy food from say if they go out for dinner, if they are going out for you know birthday parties or any kind of marriage parties children would follow that. Okay. So, you know for a healthy child you need to have healthy family. Okay. So, uh, that is what this uh, kind of tutorial is about. Uh, we have created two celebration uh, tutorials and enjoy and make it and uh, you know let me know how you find those recipes. Thank you. Welcome to this spoken tutorial on delicious recipes for kids parties. In this tutorial we will learn about Points to consider while preparing children's meals. Preparation of some healthy vegetarian recipes for them. Childhood is a period of rapid growth and development. Both physical and mental development takes place during this period. Hence, it is important that children should consume adequate nutrients. They should be encouraged to eat healthy foods from a young age. Their diet should be nutrient dense covering all the food groups. The meals should be colorful and appealing to them. We will now see some delicious healthy recipes which can be given to children. The first recipe is Tangy Fox Nuts Bhel. The ingredients required to make this recipe are 3 fourth cup fox nuts, 1 fourth cup chopped tomatoes, 1 fourth cup chopped onion, 2 tablespoons chopped raw mango, 2 tablespoons roasted peanuts, 2 tablespoons lemon juice, 2 tablespoons of washed coriander leaves. You will also need half teaspoon chaat masala, half teaspoon red chilli powder. Take salt according to your taste. Procedure Dry roast the fox nuts in a pan on medium flame until they become crunchy. Once roasted, Remove them from the pan and let it cool down for a few minutes. Add the rest of the ingredients to it one by one. Mix everything well and serve. The next recipe is Paneer Kebab. Ingredients required for this recipe are 50 grams or 2 tablespoons of grated paneer. 100 grams or 4 tablespoons of curd, half chopped onion, half chopped capsicum, handful of washed coriander leaves, 2 tablespoons of roasted semolina. Spices required to make this recipe are 1 fourth teaspoon cumin powder, 1 fourth teaspoon red chilli powder, 1 fourth teaspoon pepper powder. You will also need 2 tablespoons of oil or ghee and salt according to taste. Procedure For this recipe, we need thick curd. For this, put the curd in a strainer and place a bowl beneath it. Cover and keep it aside for 2 to 3 hours. Transfer the thick curd from the strainer to a bowl. Add chopped vegetables, grated paneer and spices into it. Mix everything well and make round kebabs. Coat it in roasted semolina 
from all sides. Keep these kebabs in the refrigerator for 20 to 30 minutes. Heat oil in a pan and shallow fry the kebabs. Cook on medium flame on both sides until they turn light golden brown. Paneer kebabs are ready. Our third recipe is spinach drink. To make this recipe, you will need half cup or handful of washed spinach, one small banana, half apple, one and a half tablespoon curd. Procedure Boil one glass of water in a vessel. Once the water boils, add the spinach and cook for a minute. Drain the water and keep the spinach aside to cool. Wash, peel and chop the fruits. Add the chopped fruits, spinach and curd to a mixer jar. Grind this into a smooth paste. You can add one fourth cup of water to adjust the consistency. Transfer this into a glass and serve. You can even garnish it with some grated apples. The last recipe is Green Gram Wrap. To make this recipe, you will need 30 grams or half cup of green gram, 4 to 5 pieces of paneer, 2 tablespoons curd, half sliced carrot, 1 small sliced onion, half sliced capsicum. You will also need handful of shredded cabbage, 1 green chilli, pinch of turmeric, 1 fourth teaspoon chilli powder, salt to taste, 2 teaspoons of oil. Procedure Wash and soak green gram overnight. Drain the water and transfer it into a mixer jar. Grind it into a smooth batter by adding a green chilli and half a glass of water. Transfer this batter into a bowl. Add salt and mix well. Keep this aside for later use. I will now tell you how to make the filling. In a bowl, add 2 tablespoons curd and whisk until smooth. To this add turmeric, chilli powder and salt. Mix everything well and add paneer pieces. Coat the pieces well. Keep this aside for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, heat oil on a pan. Shallow fry the paneer pieces until they turn golden. Keep this aside to cool. Simultaneously, heat 1 teaspoon of oil in a pan. Add all the chopped vegetables. Fry these vegetables for 5 to 10 minutes until they turn soft. Add a pinch of salt and remove from heat. Remember not to add salt in the beginning, else the vegetables will become soggy. Keep this aside for later use. We will now see how to make a wrap. Heat oil in a pan. Pour one spoonful of batter that we had prepared earlier. Spread the batter uniformly like a dosa. Cook until both sides are cooked. This will take 3 to 4 minutes. Transfer the prepared dosa onto a plate. Place the fried vegetables and paneer pieces on the dosa. Roll the dosa and serve hot. All these recipes are rich in protein, good fats, calcium, folate and magnesium. They are also rich in iron, potassium, 
and phosphorus. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on nutritious vegetarian recipes for kids parties. In this tutorial, we will learn about importance of good nutrition, preparation of some healthy recipes. Good nutrition during childhood is very important. This is a phase of rapid growth and development. Both physical and mental development takes place during this period. It is necessary to encourage children to eat healthy food. Healthy food should be eaten during regular days, celebrations and parties too. For example, during birthdays, picnics, get-togethers, etc. During such celebrations, children often eat junk food. They may get addicted to it and ask for the same on a regular basis. Hence, it is best to avoid junk foods in parties also. Harmful effects of junk food are explained in detail in another tutorial. Please visit our website for more details. Food during a celebration or at a party does not have to be unhealthy. With a little effort and planning, healthy food can be served. The presentation of the food is important as well. Children are more likely to eat it if it looks good. Thus, food should be colourful and appealing to them. There are a lot of healthy recipes that are delicious and also easy to make. Let's look at some of these recipes. Every kid's party needs a cake. So our first recipe is Finger Millet Cup Cake. To make this recipe, we will need 30 grams or 2 tablespoons finger millet flour, 50 milliliters of milk, 2 tablespoons melted salted butter, 1 tablespoon cocoa powder, paste of 5 grounded or pounded seedless dates. We will also need 5 chopped almonds, 5 chopped cashews, half teaspoon baking powder, 1 fourth teaspoon baking soda. Procedure Take a bowl and place a sieve on it. Add finger millet flour, cocoa powder, baking powder and baking soda. Sieve everything together. To this add melted butter and mix well. Now add milk gradually and make a smooth batter. Add the paste of dates and mix again. Grease the cupcake molds with some oil. Pour the prepared batter into the molds. Add chopped nuts on top of the batter. Add half cup of salt to the pressure cooker. Place a stand inside the cooker. Make sure not to add water in the cooker. Preheat the pressure cooker for 10 minutes without a whistle and gasket. After 10 minutes, place the mold on the stand. Close the lid and cook this for 25 minutes on a low flame. Check if they are cooked by inserting a toothpick. If the toothpick comes out clean, remove them from heat and let them cool. If it does not come out clean, cook for another 10 minutes. Once cooled, remove them from the mold and serve. The next recipe is baked sweet potato strips. To make this recipe, you need 1 medium-sized sweet potato, 2 teaspoons oil, 
हाफ टी स्पून रेड चिली फ्लेक्स हाफ टी स्पून चाट मसाला सॉल्ट टू टेस्ट यू कैन इवन एड ऑरिगेनो टू इट प्रोसीजर वॉश एंड पील द स्वीट पटेटोज कट दम इन टू वर्टिकल स्टिक्स इन अ बोल टेक ऑयल एंड अदर स्पाइसिस put the sweet potato sticks into this bowl now coat the spices on each stick evenly place a sheet of butter paper on the baking tray put the sweet potato sticks on it with the distance of half inch from each other preheat the oven to 200 degrees bake them for 15 minutes flip the sides and bake again for 15 minutes bake sweet potato strips are ready our next recipe is curd and pomegranate lollipop to make this we will need 100 grams or 1 small cup curd half small cup pomegranate seeds procedure in a bowl add the curd and whisk it until smooth to this add the pomegranate seeds and mix well pour this mixture into popsicle molds and freeze it for 4 to 6 hours if you do not have a mold you can pour it in a glass place an ice cream stick or spoon and freeze it for 4 hours remove it from the freezer dip the mold in warm water and demold curd and pomegranate lollipops are ready our last recipe is roasted bengal gram powder butter milk to make this we will need 2 tablespoons roasted bengal gram 2 tablespoons curd salt to taste a few washed and chopped mint leaves a pinch of cumin powder procedure grind the roasted bengal gram into powder in a bowl or glass whisk the curd until smooth add 1 and 1/2 tablespoons of roasted bengal gram powder to this mix well without any lumps to this add 1 glass of water and mix again add a pinch of salt and cumin powder and mix again transfer this to a serving glass and garnish with mint leaves roasted bengal gram powder buttermilk is ready all these recipes are rich in protein good fats calcium folate and magnesium they are also rich in iron potassium and phosphorus this brings us to the end of the tutorial thank you for joining